Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this video is a little different. This is a little experience this weekend I had on Craigslist and I thought I'd share it with you. I got a friend who uh, cruises eBay and Craigslist pretty frequently and he found me uh, this this weekend. I did not know this, but Craigslist has a free section. If you look under the for sale section, there's a free section. And this is what he found me. So it's a uh, Gibson G20 chassis. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. So here's the pictures the guy had on Craigslist. For free now. This was all for free. So I jumped all over it. And I will show you a video of what I got from the guy. While I was looking on Craigslist, I noticed something odd. This poor little doggy. So I got to looking around in between the murder couches that you see offered for free. And the pile of tires that are also for free. And there was an inordinate amount of pallets people were trying to give away for free. But yeah, I saw all these animals that people were giving away. And you know this is these animals' last chance. They've contacted their friends and family and coworkers, and this is these animals' last chance it's on Craigslist. I mean these poor little I saw all kinds of poor little critters. I mean look at this guy. He knows something's up. Look at that face. It's like guys, why aren't y'all taking my picture? What's going on, guys? And look at, okay, it's not written here, but the subtext in this d description is, if you don't get these kittens, they're going into a bag getting tossed into the river. Okay, so here is what I got from the guy from Craigslist. So it took about an hour to get to his house. I drove out there, and I was like, well, for sure I can use the chassis. And here's what's left of the circuit board. So I started to pull some of the pieces off that bigger piece. See if I could salvage anything. I think the chassis is worth recycling. Okay, here is the box of goodies. So I got a bunch of potentiometers, lock washers, locking nuts, input jacks, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to ever reuse these capacitors and resistors that I pulled off here or these transistors, but it, it gave me practice desoldering, so it was I thought it would be fun to salvage them. All right. Ooh, Gibson label. That's and one knob, but that's the original label off the uh, cabinet. So here we are looking at all the goodies I got, again, for free. That knob I can use, that logo I can use, those input jacks I can use. This can be used, salvaged. Yeah, made in America. I can use that. And these are really cheap potentiometers. I was hoping they would be something a little nicer, but yeah, they're pretty cheap. I don't know if I'll be able to use those or not. But that is worth something. And that's original from... Like I said, from the uh, cabinet. And one knob. He was able to salvage one original knob. Okay. And so here's what's left of the circuit board. There's some more capacitors, transistors, resistors. I may or may not pull those off. I don't really understand the point. But here, coming up, this is the real prize. I got the original speaker and output transformer, too. So I'm thinking, and since that output transformer is rated for that speaker, I was thinking about building a small, maybe 10 watt tube amp around that speaker. So I've already got a speaker and I've already got an output transformer. So, I mean, basically I'm halfway there to build an amp around that. 
Yeah, it's a 10 inch Celestian. But hey, for free, you can't beat that. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Yes, I had to drive an hour to get it, but it was totally worth it. So that was my Craigslist haul. It's the first time I've ever found anything in the free section. So take a look. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you like what you saw. Yeah, guys, I just want to take a moment and uh, thank my current subscribers for sticking with me and following me. And I'd like to thank any potential subscribers that are watching right now. If you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, you know, I try to turn out content as quickly as I can and try to keep it entertaining. It's usually focused on guitar repair, amp repair, something like that. Try to have a little fun in the meantime. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching.